even in year two, you were warned about Leah Michelle. As soon as she decided that she didn't like me, it was very evident. Say that it was not the most uh, comfortable environment. I always wonder how bad is it when somebody who's a stranger to you who works so closely with somebody else, that is their paycheck, and at the first opportunity to tell you how awful they are, they do. The silent treatment, the stare downs, the looks, the comments under her breath, the weird passive aggressiveness, it all built up. I, I, the best thing about being on tour with everyone is that we, we really honestly all do get along, thank God. And the only person who was willing to speak out was the late Naya Rivera. You felt like she was unprofessional. Definitely. On the set. Definitely. I Leah Michelle has a problem. She can't seem to treat anyone with respect. For years, she's had people constantly expose her bad behavior. From racism to homophobia, Leah is the next monster behind the scenes. So let's get into it. There have been so many rumors about actress Leah Michelle. Some probably aren't true, like the rumor that she cannot read, but others seem to be very true, like she's hard to work with and she's a bully. Drama between her and co-star Leah Michelle. You felt like she was unprofessional. Definitely. On the set. Definitely. I we're going to be talking about all of the allegations against Leah Michelle and why some of her co-stars claim that she made their lives a living hell. The promotional side of things that spent a lot of time with the cast, um, even in year two, you were warned about Leah Michelle. Oh, yeah. They, it, was, it was to the point, I always wonder how bad is it when somebody who's a stranger to you who works so closely with somebody else, that is their paycheck, and at the first opportunity to tell you how awful they are, they do. You know it's bad if someone warns you about a coworker. You've probably been in that situation before where you start a new job and then your new coworker friend gives you the heads up that this certain person is hard to work with. And in Hollywood, it seems like that person is Leah Michelle. People actually started calling her out on her behavior during the Black Lives Matter movement. Leah tweeted something about George Floyd. She wrote, George Floyd did not deserve this. This was not an isolated incident and it must end. Hashtag Black Lives Matter. And at this point in time, a lot of people were tweeting the same things. But in this case, Leah Michelle was called out on her BS. One of her co-stars from the show Glee, Samantha Ware, called her out for being incredibly disrespectful. One, when I attempted to introduce myself, there was nothing gradual about it. As soon as she decided that she didn't like me, it was very evident. It was after I did my first performance, that's when it started. The silent treatment, the stare downs, the looks, the comments under her breath, the weird passive aggressiveness, it all built up. Samantha went on to claim that Leah once threatened to have her fired after Samantha goofed around off camera when Leah was filming a performance scene, but she doesn't believe Leah would have followed through, adding that when she tried to speak up for herself after the incident, Leah told her to quote, shut her mouth and said Samantha didn't deserve to have her job. So that is a lot, and clearly Leah is creating a hostile environment if she's giving glares and, you know, talking under her breath. It doesn't sound fun. And Samantha wrote on Twitter, Remember when you made my first television gig a living hell? I believe you told everyone that if you had the opportunity, you would poop S word in my wig. There are also a bunch of traumatic microaggressions that made me question a career in Hollywood. Accusing Leah of making her first television gig a living hell. Her tweet, I believe you told everyone that if you had the opportunity, you would bleep in my wig. What followed was a social media storm and Glee co-stars speaking out. After Samantha sent out that tweet, so many people came out of the woodworks and they were ready to talk about their experiences with Leah and to support Samantha. One co-star, Yvette Nicole Brown wrote on Twitter, I felt every one of those capital letters. Referring to some of Samantha's tweets, another co-star from Glee named Alex put out a meme with Coco Montrese saying, get her Jade, supporting Samantha calling out Leah. But then he went on and he had much more to say. He wrote, child, we are not lying about this six years later. 
I'm going to say this one time. When my friend goes through something traumatic, I also go through it. That's what friendship is. And at this point, we only heard a couple of stories about Leah. We haven't even seen all of the horrific things she's been accused of. But quickly, her sponsors started jumping ship. HelloFresh decided to drop Leah Michelle, which is pretty huge. They wrote that they do not condone any racism or discrimination. So them saying that out there kind of labels Leah as a racist, which is really not good for her reputation. But like, if she is, that's what she is, and we should call her out for it. After losing her sponsorship, she conveniently posted an apology on Instagram, and she didn't mention Samantha at all. She just tried to clear her name of any racism. She apologizes for being difficult, but she does not acknowledge that she targets anyone because of their race. In the post, she never mentions Samantha by name, which she could have easily apologized to her, which probably would have been, or at least seemed, more sincere. And she's not even really sorry for her behavior. She's sorry that her behavior was perceived this way. Samantha wrote back on Twitter to her apology and wrote, perceived, perceived, purse, open your purse. <laughs> I don't know what she means by this, but she's obviously making fun of the fact that Leah said that these people perceived this when in fact this happened. One person that worked with Leah back on Broadway in 2008 commented on her apology and wrote, this isn't an apology. Another actor named Gerard wrote, you are nothing but a nightmare to me and my fellow understudy castmates. You made us feel like we didn't belong there. I tried to be nice to you for years with no avail. Maybe actually apologize instead of placing the blame on how others perceive you. Aviva Drescher, someone who starred on The Real housewives of new york she has like a prosthetic leg if you ever seen that scene where she throws the prosthetic leg across the room she was on glee at some point and she even wrote on instagram you were once very unkind to me so i'm not surprised by your behavior you shouldn't judge others before looking in the mirror say that it was not the most uh comfortable environment heather morris tweeted was she unpleasant to work with very much so um I, I, the best thing about being on tour with everyone is that we we really uh, honestly all do get along, thank God. So now everyone has something to say about Leah. This person named Heather Morris TV wrote online that Leah was very unpleasant to work with. She treated others with disrespect. I believe she should be called out. She unpleasant to work with? Very much so. For Leah to treat others with the disrespect that she did for as long as she did, I believe she should be called out. And yet it's also on us because to allow it to go on for as long without speaking out is something else we're learning along with the rest of society. Yeah, now on the Everything Iconic podcast, Heather says she should have had the guts to say something to the higher ups at the time. And the only person who was willing to speak out was the late Naya Rivera. It's true. And I don't know if maybe we were victims of, of bullying and, and that's a typical victim thing to do is to blame yourself, which is people were saying, but it also is very true. And the only person who was honest about it was Naya. And it was something that was very hush hush on set. Um, and now you see all these, these things coming out with, with these bigger names, um, who were very disrespectful and mistreated a lot of people and people allowed it to happen. And it's like, like we, we absolutely could have stepped up and gone to the Fox execs and, and said how we felt about the situation. And nobody really did. And so now we are living in a culture where it's acceptable to go do things like that. Whereas I think many people were very scared. I know genuinely, I didn't feel like it was my place. And I don't know why, because I was a cast member, just like everybody else. And we all deserve to feel comfortable on a set. So it sounds like she's really hard to be around. And I found one article from the Daily Mail that I found really interesting. Former Elle Australia editor claims Glee star Leah Michelle kicked a shoe at an assistant and made her cry during a violent onset outburst. The editor's name is Justine Cullen, and she said that Leah was violent towards her own employees. She wrote, it's the next tier down who always surprise you, like Leah Michelle from Glee, who in just one mini onset moments, kicked a shoe at my fashion director and made her cry. She was unpleasant. Another one of her co-stars, Chris Colfer, has also shaded Leah Michelle. He's been on a podcast and he was asked if he was going to see Funny Girl, which is a 
project that Leo was on. And um, he joked and said, that, oh, my day has suddenly gotten so full and that he was triggered by hearing about Leo Michelle. So who knows what he experienced on set because he was on that show for quite a while, I believe. By the way, Chrissy, guess what I'm mm-hmm. doing tonight? Oh, my God, you should come if you're here. I know. Are you seeing Funny Girl? I am. Oh. <laughs> My my day suddenly just got so full. Wait, uh, no. Wow. Chris, no. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, my God. You know, I love you so much. Stop. Well, you know what I do with Funny Girl? Because I saw it with Beanie. So I feel like don't. I, it's only right that I see it with Leah. Right. Well, I saw I saw six last night. Um, And that was amazing. That is funny, but you so okay. That's really hilarious, actually. Well, if it makes you <laughs> feel better, you're ki- you're killing me right now, by the way. So you're not seeing it is my guess while you're in town. No, I could be triggered at home. Oh, my God. (laughs) Personally, I wouldn't be running to go and see the next Leah Michelle project, especially reading how she treated this trans model named Plastic. Plastic Martyr? Martyr? Um, We're going to call her Plastic. But supposedly in 2010, she went to the women's restroom and um, Leah told her or said to her excuse me leah then looks at her friends and then looks at this model again and says um excuse you you're in the women's bathroom this model claims that she went from feeling like she was on cloud nine to feeling like a circus freak plastic said that she didn't know who leah was at the time at all and she just kind of like came up presented herself and made a scene and tried to i guess impress her friends talking crap about her she also shares that she and her friends were mean girls making fun of people's outfits and at this point she was just trying to get out of there when leah made her rude comment so we got some racism some transphobia and then another person comes out and claims that leah wouldn't let him sit at her table which um okay that sounds like straight up high school he actually quote retweeted her original tweet about george floyd and he wrote girl you wouldn't let me sit at the table with the other cast members because i didn't belong there f you leah including actress jeanette godlock who tweeted did somebody say cockroaches because that's what she used to refer to the background as on the set of glee but we grow up and we don't stay background forever so another person from leah's way past also came out and said that she was awful even when she was 12 years old this actress named elizabeth wrote that she was leah's backup on a show called ragtime she was absolutely awful to me she demeaned the crew and threatened to have us fired if she was any way displeased i used to cry every night from the mean and manipulative things she would do she was 12 she was terrifying my strongest memory of you was storming out of the glee classroom set yelling does anyone have gum. I was standing about 10 feet away from you with gum already in hand. When I said I do, offering it to you, you just looked at me and said ew, before walking off to Crafty on the next stage. Hopefully you've grown as a person and treat people better on sets. Marcus says, quite honestly, I worked with you many times for years. You were abusive, rude, condescending, and at many times downright cruel. There is no excuse for your behavior. You have so much talent, but there is so much hate within your heart. You said one incredibly cruel thing to me once, and you didn't even know my name. Everyone who has worked with you carries those memories with them. An Instagram apology written in your notes app just doesn't cut it. This isn't an isolated incident. It's years of crap you've pulled that people are bringing up. You used to call extras on Glee cockroaches, and you got people fired on a whim. You have much work to do. Much. Gerard says, seems to have been deleted, so I'll try again. You were nothing but a nightmare to me and fellow understudy cast members. You made us feel like we didn't belong there. I tried for years to be nice to you to no avail. Maybe actually apologize instead of placing the blame on how others perceive you. You'll probably just delete this though. How does she think she can just go around and treat people like this and there's not going to be like a reputation or these stories told about her, which I mean, if this was me, I would feel awful. I, I would hate to be hated. Who's going to want to hire someone who's so difficult to work with? The voice star Jordan Pruitt wrote on Twitter, everyone in Hollywood knows that Leah Michelle is a horrible human being. She is a B word to everyone. We all know it. Yawn. Moving on. I understand the sentiment, but at the same time, we need to talk about this person and how they're awful and why are they hired for these projects when they treat everyone like crap. And you use the word subhuman. That really got my attention. Yeah. Why use that term? What happened to make you feel that way? 
Um, because if someone says something to you, the main response is usually to respond back, even if it's negative or like if, if you say something, usually the other person will say something back. She didn't say something back. She gave me a this. She went up <sighs> into her phone. And I was like, oh, I was like, no, no, no. Uh-uh. Yeah, it was, That's not right. it was one of those things where I, as soon as I said it, I started getting hit on Twitter by other people saying, this isn't about you. You're co-opting people of color stories. And I was like, I didn't mean to do that. I'm literally talking to my friend, Alex, who mm -hmm. just got a second season on Zoe's uh, playlist, which is mm -hmm. a main other drag queen on TV, um, about a girl that we don't like who was on this show that we were both on too. I would be scared to be in the same room as her. I would probably run away. But there are some people who have said nice things about her, like one of her co-stars named Iqbal. He said, a lot of people are assuming that Leah mistreated me. Let me state clearly that I was never mistreated by her. Another anonymous source said that Leah may not be the nicest person, but she's not racist, sexist, or transphobic. She's fiery and has more of an aggressive personality where most people would play weak or vulnerable. Bully on set. Leah revealed that she reached out to try to make amends. Quote, I think these past two years have been so important for everyone to just sit back and reflect. I did a lot of personal reach outs, but the most important thing was for everybody to just take a step back, she told Interview Magazine. Leah noted that all the backlash was very, quote, eye-opening. Quote, at the end of the day, what matters the most is how you make people feel, and you have to put aside your feelings. The conversations that I've had behind the scenes with some people were incredibly healing and very eye-opening for me. Adding quote, I've been doing this for a really long time and I'm not going to ever blame anything on the things that I've been through in my life. Leah has tried to apologize for this further and she supposedly reached out to these people, but who really knows and ultimately it's up to them to accept her apology or not. If this person was such a monster, if Leah really did behave this way, then I feel like I wouldn't like want to be around her or be friends with her because how do you even like begin to behave like this in the first place. I want to hear what you guys think about this video in the comments below. Do you think Leah Michelle is a bully? I mean, where there's smoke, there's fire. It is really smoky in here. So let's go ahead and open this peel box package item from Deborah. Um, it looks like they're from New York. Oh, wow. There's a few things in here. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Oh, a sleep mask. I need a sleep mask. I've like lost my sleep mask. Oh my gosh. And look, I'm like already looking at this stuff before even. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I really like need this i'm actually going to coachella soon which is like kind of scary for me then we've got another letter right here but oh my gosh i'm already so excited about these masks and the sleep mask like i literally need these things so that is like oh, god's plan but also thank you so much deborah that's so sweet dear sloan i am from new york but i recently visited paris and i visited the catacombs it was so cool i love skulls oh my god i do too <gasps> Wow, and this is a magnet from there. No magnets right now either. I love that. I picked this up from this cool magnet for you. I love your channel. Aw, uh, this is so... And a beautiful multicolored crystal. Sorry, I realize it's too late. Oh, it was like a birthday thing. Thank you so much, Deborah. This is so sweet. And like a little like care package that is so nice i love it and like the eye masks i like literally need this stuff so thank you so much i actually have like this thing right above my like <laughs> right above my desk and it fits there perfectly so i appreciate it and i'll see you guys in a new video soon bye guys